Fit Nation, it is day one of the Fit and Ten Challenge, and as some of you have heard me say before, this challenge goes by very, very fast. Before you know it, mark my words, before you know it, I'll be saying it's day 20. That's it's day 20. It's day 70, okay? Day 20 is going to come like, like in no time. I'll be saying it's day 70. I'll be saying it's the final day. So you need to um, you know, take advantage of each and every day. Now, I wanna preface this video uh, or preface this entire challenge by, by saying to you, there are a lot of specifics in this challenge, but the takeaway that I want you to, to leave with from this challenge is an understanding of food, an understanding of um, exercise, although I had to modify the workouts because of the whole COVID crisis. Um, and and um, you know, one of the most important points here is an understanding that you do not need you, that you do not need to be eating super low amount of calories for you to to lose a substantial amount of body fat, and you can include all uh, foods. Of course, I am going to stress real whole food. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to rec recap a few things today that I talked about um, in the tutorial. Um, so the first thing is the bands haven't arrived yet. The bands should be here at any uh, well. They're supposed to be here Monday, so we'll see. Um, hopefully that's the case, but I mean, I guess I guess everything's backed up in terms of uh, in terms of time with deliveries. Um, so so those are coming. Um, when it comes to the three pillars of the challenge, I want you doing. Okay, so this is the first pillar, which is your exercise portion. I want you doing three cardio sessions per week. And how I, want you to, how I want you to do that is outlined in the book. Okay, in terms of the intervals, your heart rates will be uh, sent to you um, when I send out your diet numbers, okay? Um, and when it comes to uh, the, uh, the resistance-based portion of the, of the challenge, we've got four Zoom classes that I want you to do. Okay, four online Zoom classes. Now these are a little more volume based, so you might consider, you might think it's it's uh, cardio, and uh, there will be a it will be more cardiovascular. That is, your heart rate's gonna burn, or it's going to beat a little bit faster, and it's going to be um, sort of a more sustained uh, higher heartbeat. This will definitely be more cardiovascular based than just doing weights, okay? Weights are cardiovascular based. Most people don't think that, but weights are cardiovascular based just not as much as what these workouts will be, okay? So um, there is a slight difference in that way, but we can't apply the same kinds of loads because we don't have the weights, being that we're not in the gym. So we have to obviously hit your body with a little more volume, okay? Um, now, when it comes to the accountability pillar of this challenge, um, there's really five things that are gonna keep you accountable, okay? One is the food entering, okay? So you've got to enter all your food into your app, even if you mess up, even if you don't want to throw in certain foods and see exactly what it spits out in terms of calories and, and the types of macros. You've got to do it. Um, we've got the Zoom classes, of course. These are, these are workouts. That's going to help you to be accountable. Make sure you put the Zoom workouts in your calendar, okay? These are non-negotiable. Your workouts are non-negotiable. Um, we've got the scan, so we've got four of them, all right? Your first one is obviously, you either had it today or it's gonna to be tomorrow or Monday. Um, and, you know, we will have a meeting. So all your subsequent scans, we're gonna sit down and have a short little meeting, okay? So that's another point of accountability. Five, you've got the, sorry, for number four, you've got the weekly feedback. Um, I'm gonna send you the link for this. Every week, you're going to send me your feedback, all right? Every week, okay? It takes about five minutes to do. Um, and uh, and finally, I can read my writing here. You've got, well, of course, you've got the daily videos. So I want you to stay on top of these videos. I will be answering your questions, and I will be, you know, offering uh, all my knowledge or a lot of my knowledge in these videos. Okay, as it applies to the challenge. All right, let's talk a little bit about the food here. How am I doing for time? Four and a half minutes. Okay, I'm gonna, be tr I'm gonna try to really do my best to get this video wrapped up here. Okay, when it comes to food. You will be entering it into my fitness pal. So I'll unplug this here. Um, and so you can enter stuff. So you can, well, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this actually or not. Can you see this here? Okay, now you can, you should be able to. So I've been entering food in here. There's more to this. This is from a few days ago. Um, you can see my total calories at the top here. Uh, let me just point out. So there's 2750 written in here. 
that's what Fit My Fitness Pal is telling me to have. I don't listen to it because I don't. I'm not. I'm not following My Fitness Pal. I, you're supposed to follow. So don't. So just ignore this number here. Okay. This is the number that I'm following. I'm having. I'm having exactly 3,050 calories per day. Okay. So that's what I'm having, and that's what you see right here. And of course, I'm entering all my food now. The reason I'm showing you this. Um, because there's many more details that you will need to know about this, but this is the most important thing because if you click on this here, this spits up, but this comes up. Okay, this is your macro breakdown. And so this tells you your total right here for your macros, but if you want even more, I'm gonna think it's this one here. Let me see here. Um, so if you click on, oh, sorry. If you click on nutrients, I think it's nutrients. Yeah, nutrients. So this, that's the middle tab, the middle one right here. You can see the breakdown of all your foods as well, okay? So this is the total for the day. This isn't each meal, this is the total for the day, okay? And then the final tab is what? So calories, um, well, that's just a breakdown of calories for each meal, which is not really that important. So you can look at your nutrients, okay? your nutrients and your macros, middle and to the uh, the right of your screen, okay, that is the screen that you're looking at in MyFitnessPal. Okay, and again, I got to this screen by clicking on the total up top, the total here, not what MyFitnessPal is giving, telling you to have, it's this right here, okay? Okay, let's get to message of the day. Message of the day, man, it's already six minutes, seven minutes, is the following. I believe in you, I believe in each and every one of you, and you might think that's trite, you might say, yeah, 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 but I do, because you all have, each and every one of us, has the capability to make the right choices. That's all this is. You just have to do the right choices. The, the little individual things that I want you to do are really not that challenging to do. They might be out of the norm, excuse me, it may not be something you're used to, but doing those tasks in and of themselves is certainly far from impossible, okay? It's just you have to do them. So I believe that each and every one of you has a capability to do these things because you do, all right? So I believe in you, each and every one of you can be super successful in this challenge. Just take advantage of all the pillars and do your absolute best. This is a marathon, okay? It's not a sprint, okay? Well, the challenge is re relatively short, so maybe you can say it's a sprint. But in terms of this challenge, it's a marathon in the sense of you've gotta be doing all these little things every single day, okay? And these little things all add up to the big end, okay? So take advantage and do, every, do as much as possible um, to fulfill the pillars of the challenge, okay? And I will, I will remind you that some is better than none, that, that for some of you, you may not be able to just jump into this challenge and do everything perfectly, and that's okay. That's usually the way it goes, but I want you to try to progress and do better and better and better, okay? And look for things that you can do better with, because as you become better at these things, your results will be better, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. Positive energy, positive vibes. Uh, as always, believe in yourself, and uh, for the love of God, Give some gratitude daily, especially during this time when uh, I know a lot of us are maybe losing some hope. But uh, I do think actually things might turn around sooner than what I had initially anticipated or what a lot of people had initially anticipated. Hopefully, fingers crossed. All right, I will talk to you guys all very soon. And um, day two video will be tomorrow, obviously. And um, make sure you do the workouts. Tomorrow there is a class at 9 a.m., I believe. All right, so. Hopefully you can make it out to it. I'll talk to you guys all very soon. See you guys. I'm not supposed to go off here.